Hi, I'm Alan. And this is a video. I love how this drop suddenly becomes like the hardest thing ever created, even though I normally pass it like every three attempts. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so, dude. <laughs> oh. oh my fucking god, dude, I did it! Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, dude. Atomic Cannon. Okay, so what a level. I, I really don't have anything else to say about it. It's it's sort of a good level. It's very well balanced. It is incredibly fun gameplay. It's really weird that I would like it, honestly, because I'm not really a fast paced gameplay kind of guy, but I still really had a good time with it. I, I got a little bit tilted with it, but after 10,000 normal mode attempts, I feel like anyone would get tilted at it, especially when you die to the last ball 17 times but it's such a good level it has incredibly good balancing it there's no part that really feels much harder than anything else uh, i found it really hard to get like the drop cube like get the hang of the drop cube but it got so consistent at the end that while i had a really hard time like getting good with it once you do get good with it it's super consistent it's super good i'm really fun as well uh th th there were some choke points sure uh, like 44 49 uh 21 for some reason was a really bad choke point so there are a couple things that will kill you more than others but for the most part this level is just really good and i don't have anything negative to say about it really the only thing that makes it not 100 out of 100 enjoyment for me was the fact that there were some choke points like 44 i died to like 50 times i've died to 40 or 49 like 30 as well and i died 23 times i think to the first dash orb after the drop queue which was a little bit annoying but you know it's whatever but no this level i have nothing bad to say about it i love it this is easily one of my favorite levels of all time and it's so underrated though <laughs> the only thing i can really say is that this level should be much higher on the list uh i obviously don't have much to compare it to because i think bloodless is overrated and i think bloodless should be around like frozen cave difficulty so bloodless should be moved to like 40 but i also think this is so significantly harder than everything else that i've beaten except for rust so like if i think bloodless is like 40 along with uh frozen cave and nelv and all that stuff being around the, like the 40s like mid 40s I think this should probably be like 35, like realistically, based on how hard I think it is compared to those levels. Uh, naturally, I can't say it should be much higher than like 42 or whatever, but I think because of how much harder I think it is compared to those other levels, I can confidently say I think it should be around like mid 30s, probably. This level is really underrated, but anyway, uh, enough babbling. This level is awesome. I love it. It's very fun, very good. Go play it if you're good enough for it, but anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, comment, subscribe. Other guys get to know the drill by now. Next stream should be Quar by Viprin, the verification. So exciting, very exciting. Anyway, uh, take care, everyone.